In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get Feather iOS on your iOS device. So, this IPA sideloading app does not require a computer and has a load of features like IPA signing, importing certificates, and more. So to get this side loader, all you guys have to do is first open up Safari. And in Safari, what you guys are going to do is uh, oh, just open up this website here, which I will leave a link in the description for. And in this website, what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to hit on downloads. And then from downloads, you're just going to click on config profiles. And once you guys see config profiles here, just click on mad DNS config profile. So just click on that here. Click allow. And then I'll say profile downloaded. So just click close go into the settings app. And then once you guys go into the settings app, you'll see install profile here. So you're just going to click on install here, enter in your passcode. Just click on next over here, click on install, and then just click on install here. And now you guys can click on done. So the reason why we actually need this DNS is because this DNS will actually block it any revokes from happening and block any ads as well which is a neat touch so once you guys have done that you guys can just go back into safari and then in safari what you guys have to do is just click on back or just click the back button here and then you'll see downloads here again you'll get back to this page click on portal and now you're just gonna have to download the portal app and for this one you just have to essentially find the one working for your device specifically so you'll see a bunch of certificates here and you just have to choose anyone at random and so i just want you guys to remember that what works for me may not work for you guys so i'll just click on portal continent here it'll say would like to install portal click install and then if you just go back to your home screen you should see it installing here and so as you guys can see, it has in fact installed, but if you guys click on it here, what you guys will have to do. So since I've already signed this app before, it'll open up automatically for me. But for you guys, what you guys have to do is essentially just go into uh, general and you're just going to go into VPN and device management and you'll see the enterprise app here. And what you guys have to do is essentially trust this app. So once you guys do click trust, it will ask you guys to restart. But since I've already trusted and I've tried this method before, I don't have to do that since it's already trusted for me. So I can just go back, go back into the portal app, click continue. And then you guys can just customize it however you want. I'm just going to keep it dark and then just keep clicking on continue here. And now what you guys have to do is just go into downloads here and then you'll see apps over here. So you'll see eSign, Feather, Gbox, Scarlet. So for this video, we're obviously doing Feather. So just click on Feather here. And then you'll see a bunch of certificates that are very similar to the certificates that you saw on the previous website. And what you guys have to do here is click on the exact same certificate that you use to download the portal app. So I'm just going to click on continent here and then click install. And then now you can just click on the actual feather app and it'll say welcome to feather. You can click continue here. And then you'll see sources, library, and settings. So now that the Feather app has successfully loaded, we aren't technically done here. We have to actually set up Feather for side loading. So if we go into settings over here and scroll down, you'll see that there are no certificates selected over here. So we must have to put one into actually side load apps. So to import a certificate, all you have to do is just go back into the portal app scroll back here and then you'll see certificates over here under files so you're just going to click on that here you'll see download finished you can just click on this file over here and once you guys do that just go and find files so here click save to files and just save this and it says here these files can also be found under on my iphone portal downloads so you can find it from there too but i just choose to go straight into downloads so you guys can just now go into uh, files and then you guys will see the certificates.zip so just click on that here 
and what we've done by clicking it is essentially just extract the zip file and put it into a folder so you guys should see the certificates folder here so you can just see that if i click here you'll see all of the actual certificates here so now what we have to do is go back into the feather app and in the feather app make sure that you guys are still on settings and you're just going to click on add certificate click on the plus here and what we have to do is first import a provisioning file so if you just click this here you should see your recents here uh, i'm just going to go to browse and just click back over here find the certificates file here and then in certificates you're just going to go to continent the exact same thing that you use to download the portal app and the feather app and you're just going to click on the continent.mobile provision so you'll see a little check mark here that means it has successfully imported and you're just going to have to import your p12 as well so just click this here and then you'll see continent p12 and just click on that here and then the password for this is in all caps w s f so just click on save and then you'll see a new certificate here 88 days left and there's a little check mark here and now once that has been imported what we have to do is go back into settings and there's a few tweaks that we have to make to ensure that everything goes smoothly so what you guys have to do first is you are gonna just go scroll down here until you see server options and then make sure that online install method has in fact been turned on and it says you must close the app for the changes to take effect so click ok and it should auto close open up feather again and now what we're going to do here is go to signing options and then make sure that enable protection is in fact on and it should likely be on for you guys but it wasn't on for me so it might not be on for you guys so just double check and make sure so now you can just go back into library here click on import and then click import from files you can just go into your downloads and find an ipa file so the ipa file that i'm going to do is old os so i'll just click on that here and then as you guys can see it has been imported so you can just tap on the app here click sign old os and then you'll see the customization for this app so you guys can do a bunch of tweaks if you want you can change the bundle id change the icon you can add tweaks you can do a bunch of different stuff with this app but for now i'll just click on start signing here and you'll see the same app under signed apps so if you just click tap here now and click install old os it'll install and you can also open here and you can also resign by clicking this button over here resign old os so when you guys do want to resign just click resign here but i'm just going to click install old os you'll see packaging at the bottom and it'll say open this page in itunes so click open and it'll say would like to install old os so just click on install here it'll say sending payload and as you guys can see it is in the process of installing here and do note that it could take a minute or two i don't know why it was taking me some time but it was stuck on the sending payload so it might be stuck on that page for you guys as well so make sure you guys don't leave that page and when it's done you can just swipe up on your screen and you'll see your app you can open it up here and as you guys can see everything is working completely fine anyways i hope this video helped if it did please leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching